feel like we're in the end game now. That means there's only a few more of these left before we're done, and we missed the last one because sick face over here was sick face. You mean it wasn't this sick face? No, it was this sick it face. It was this sick face. It was this sick face, not this your, sick face. Because your sick face made my sick face a sick face. I blame it on you. My sick face tends to do that to other faces. Guys, what's going on? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name's Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And today we're doing a Schmodown reaction. It is who versus who? Uh, so this one, it's it's new it's teams made teams. up of people we've seen before. Yeah. It is Rogue Two versus The Wicked. And I'm not going to sing that song from Wicked, even though I desperately want to. Thank you. Who are these people? Uh, so apparently Rogue Two is Adam Lavick and Liz Shannon Miller. Oh, cool. Uh, going up against The Wicked, uh, which is uh, Jared Habon from Bachelor. Ah. And... Uh, the return of Jim Vevita. Oh, we haven't uh, seen him in a minute. We haven't seen him since South by Southwest last year. That's funny, because we literally saw him at South by Southwest. Yeah. No, uh, we haven't seen him since he was teamed up with, I believe, Eric Goldman uh, for IGN, An or Top That. It was Top That, actually. Was he not a part of Anarchy? Uh, I don't think we saw him during Anarchy. Eh. We haven't seen him in a while. It's been a, it's been a long time. I think, honestly, like one of the last times we saw him, he, he was too busy giving uh, top ten biopics. Wow. Oh. Which is not... It's, it's not the best move, typically. Because Roka's good at biopics. Um, but anyway, fast forward to present day. We, uh, we get to see... Uh, we get to see him come back. He's there, so we got the rock stars essentially versus swag here, with Lavic and and Liz Shan Miller on swag, Vevita and Haybon are on the rock stars. So Roxy gets another chance at getting some points here, and we get to see Winston's team drip drip all over the place. Why? I'm still not comfortable saying that. It's because you're clearly saying it wrong. Nah. Um. Either way, we got some uh, good manager action that's going to happen here because Roxy needs some points for her faction. Winston's just always great on camera. Yeah. A lot of fun to be had here. The question at the end of the day is, since these are new teams, who do we got? Jeez. So, I mean, I guess trying to re quickly sum it up because that's a lot of people we got to get through that we haven't seen in quite a while in, in most cases. Uh, Adam Lavick is really good. Yep. Liz Shannon Miller, again, was recommended by Ethan Irwin and his wife. Uh, Jim Vevita, good, very knowledgeable. Haven't seen him in like half a decade. <laughs> and then Jared Habon, typically an IG guy. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of, there's some players here that. Well, really, just Jared that we haven't seen in a in general trivia. We've seen Adam in general trivia before, but I don't know. This is this is I don't, I don't a lot of people. I have here. no idea how to make a call on this one because everyone has like ups and downs on this. It's going to be very hard. I'm going to give the slight edge to uh, Jim and Jared though, just because I believe that Jim is that good of a player. Well, I'll go Adam and Liz Shannon Miller just to spite you. That's normal. All right. <laughs> That's typically the way this brotherly relationship goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in here because I want to see what's going on, and we can uh, we'll have a bunch of stuff to mention afterwards. So stick around throughout the reaction here. <laughs> And get it, you can bounce your head. I almost want to do like the old like Beavis and Butthead where they're like, yeah. <laughs> while watching music videos. I'm not going to do that. That would hurt me. <laughs> new factions. It is the new era. I am Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, and I am thrilled to be joined by the one, the only, the legend herself, Miss Emma Fife, is here in studio. Thank you so much, Mark, and also for you know lauding me to the status that that I think I'm truly deserving of here at the Movie Tribute Showdown. Hey, look, <laughs> anyone who loans me their Harry Potter Gryffindor robe. <laughs> 
is worthy of mythical status, and that is certainly one Emma Fife. Now, Emma, I know like you've Rhett been keeping mythical? an eye on things going on in the league, and we had this new era. We had the nuke, and now we have a draft, and teams get blown up, but we have all these players that okay, are Here's the word mythical, so he's got to mention other YouTubers. Haven. Well, I mean... Some team today is going to find out that they are 1-0, and and they're off and running, and they're doing it for their factions. That is absolutely true, Mark, and what we're dealing with today are players who we've seen compete in the Schmodown before. There's no brand new faces here at the desk. But you look at somebody like a, a Jim Vavida, who is one half of the Wicked, who are represented by Roxy Stryer and the Rockstars. Yeah. He's someone who has attracted a lot of attention in the Schmodown as someone who could potentially be a new singles champion because his basis of movie knowledge is so broad and he's so good at recalling it. Where Jim has suffered in the past is in knowing the game it's of the actually showdown. the game yes. play. it's a strategy but then you pair him up with somebody like jared haven who is not much to look at but he's a really big <laughs> sports fan just he knows Ugh. his inner geekdom so if he's coming from the world of inner geekdom and Jim disgusting Vega, like i'm trying not to vomit on camera together, oh god just utterly just but on the what a horrendous Hunter, looking man <laughs> it's absolutely true because obviously we have i wish i looked like him not enough alcohol here yeah are part of the swag squad as represented by winston marshall sorry what the thing about Liz is she was a huge up-and-comer last year in the Schmodown. As it stands already in this season, she's more or less ranked as a strong contender in singles yet again. But now we're seeing her paired in teams with Adam Plavik, somebody who we tend to think of as an inner geekdom competitor, but who, if you look at Adam's past record, he actually definitely has a pretty deep sort of more broad movie knowledge. And you know as well as anybody because you're the manager of the Shire Wolves, mm. so when you pair two people together, it really is about the team chemistry as much as it is the individual knowledge, right? Absolutely, and I think we're looking at a couple of teams here where, where once again, you each team has one player who we know as being pretty strong in the Inner Geekdom League and one player who's pretty mm -hmm. strong elsewhere. I would argue that everyone playing here, if this was like an Inner Geekdom's team match, I have no doubt that this would be a knockdown drag out fight. And I think that is going to be the case today. But There's a good argument for Inner Geekdom's team. Now let's talk a little bit about where Inner Geekdom's team. Inner Geekdom teams. Right. There you go. I'm going to put the uh, wrong uh, they're, they're plural their on the wrong word. Yep. Roxy Stryer kind of needs this win. For the uh, you thought I was going to say emphasis and syllable, huh? Really nope, not at all. Oh, she okay. Because so I know proper English. Last year. She thought she deserved it. It didn't go her way. And this year she can't really see them doing teams in Inner Geekdom, in though, because Winston, you've already got the, the, the teams and teams. And what if is it going to be new teams, different teams for different divisions? It just gets confusing. I don't see it practically happening anytime real soon. The madness. It would just... Player, Cats and, and dogs will be doing something at some point. Really Maybe living together. Paired up in this match and yeah. a Mass hysteria. That, yeah. I don't know. I think we, we might see some, some new star players when it comes to the team leagues here in the movie trivia show. Let's so compare Winston Marshall to Vince Lombardi. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks. We're going to go to the pregame interviews with a couple of inner geeks and some movie trivia dorks. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> the rookie sensation, Liz Shannon Miller, Lightning Liz, she beat Demi in her first match. She is also on a roll. And then you have Paulo Yama, so one of them is going to take a huge step forward. The other one is going to get that first loss. Donnie Darko. And you are winner! And you, number one I guess I should have brought three of my best friends to help me out. That would have been fun. Hopefully they're better company. Yeah, I mean, coming into this, uh, this is my first time on a team, which is really exciting. It's I've never done that before. You've theoretically done this a bit? I have. I've done teams a few times, but it's been a few years since I've actually been right on a team. I have no Who idea. Knows ish, all right? Liz knows the ish. I've seen a match. She, she be kicking some. I know I can't cuss because of the babies. We are the Wicked because we're all Boston representatives, and honestly... We're a wicked good time. That's what we are. We're a wicked good time. <laughs> this is about to be a team that you don't want to mess with. Jim David, are come all over to the rock stars, baby. That's Whoa. a very interesting pick. We have not seen Jim That was a good pick because, yeah, we hadn't I seen him. You were like, the steal of yep. the draft. Didn't know he was in there. teamed you with Jared, who is an expert on this game. He's a super fan of it as well, and he's done some pretty gangster things in the Schmodown. I think it's the first time in the history of my life anybody has referred to me as gangster, and I like it. We're playing, what, Jim and Jared? Uh, I don't really know Jim. I just know that he was, what, on Team IGN, and he gave Roka, of all people, biopics. Do you know that Roka was alive 
when those bio picks actually happen. Like, Luka <laughs> is in every single one of those things in real life, so that was dumb. Way to scratch at the scab, buddy. Jeez, I thought that had healed over. Guess what? <laughs> that was some good I'll editing right there. <laughs> I'll help you there. You're not going to make another biopics mistake again. I don't want anybody mentioning that one more time because you don't deserve that. You're let, better. Let me say this. If we spin biopics, we're choosing it, and, and you're going to right or wrong, baby. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And I'm not going to do anything because I'm not that good in biopics. But he is, and that's all that matters. We're taking it back. The Wicked, more specifically Jim, will be taking back biopics. And Roxy, you know I love you, Roxy. And in the spirit of Jim. Since I don't want to mention it again. Let's just take, Roxy, keep talking about it. Yep. I'm hoping that <laughs> when this is all said and done, you will accept my invitation. You know what I'm talking about. Soon. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> drip, drip, baby. Rogue two in the house. We have spoken. I think someone was doing sign language there. I possibly. I mean, look, that, that what I see in that pregame interview from both teams is confidence. And yeah. I think that that happens when you've had some success either with a team in the past or individually in an inner geekdom setting. You have a new person. You're excited to compete with them. These two teams both think they're going to win. Yeah, there's a lot of enthusiasm coming from both sides. And can I just say... Everyone involved with this match is really nice. They're really nice. There's a lot of really nice people. Yeah. Uh, I want good things for everybody involved here today. So shall we move on to talking some strengths and weaknesses here, Mark? So strengths and weaknesses, what do you got for, let's start with Rogue 2. All right. So for Rogue 2, we have got comic book movies, <laughs> international <laughs> releases, and having easy to pronounce last names. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> and then moving on to uh, yeah. The Wicked. Adam Lavick is we tall. We have got Star Wars new releases, and worshipping Tom Brady. Well, no, that's, uh, that's a... Oh, that elicited an uh, emotional response from a lot of people in the crowd there. Who's Tom Brady? I have no clue. Oh. Mixed, mixed feelings on Tom Brady oh. the is what the Not the getting that reference makes me feel really deflated. Uh, yeah. I wish someone would let the air out of that so we know what Emma, they're talking about. Let's do this. Then it's time for the movie Trivia Schmoda! One yours, 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 was, yours was better. One step too far. Yeah, I, I liked yours better. Yeah. Introducing first! Mine kind of fell flat. Representing the faction, the Rockstars, led to the ring by their manager, Roxy Stryer. Please welcome Jim Babida, Jared Haven, the Wicked! Oh, we got a look. Draco and Stacy. Is he wearing a forget about it shirt? <laughs> I mean, forget about it. And I like so it. So at least we're some exactly. headway with the, the banning sunglasses. <laughs> the sunglasses role. have gone from the competitors to the managers, <laughs> and that's the way it should stay. We need stay. to see clearly. <laughs> and their opponents. Representing Swag Squad, led to the ring by their manager, Winston Marshall. It is Lee Shannon Miller and Adam Lovick. Rogue Two. I love how like every single one of these is just an opportunity for Chandra to come out dancing. Instead of just waiting for his own matches, we're now blessed with him dancing every time they drip all over the studio. I'm going to ban you from saying the word drip. Please. Uh, I don't know what camera got. This is, well, this is a big deal for me. Okay, um, we've been good friends for a long time, and uh, you know it's been amazing co-hosting with you on SCN Live, and and you have me on live at the Roxy. We've become really good friends, and uh, so before we start this match, I just wanted to ask you a question. Oh, Roxy, wow. what is oh boy, here. what? Will you accept this L? <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. Game on. Short, 
sweet to the point. I thought right, pressure's on, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> and now the actual players at the desk. <laughs> was that the word that you think? Yeah. Can we say something? Was, but, you know. No? Oh, boy. Cool. Well, no proposals here today. Everybody's marital status remains the same. And now I will read... The team's <laughs> Meanwhile, Winston's girlfriend. Number one is a three Maybe a little too far. Maybe a little out too far. As an individual exercise of movie trivia know-how. Eight questions are asked to the field. These questions come from eight different corners of movie trivia schmodown goodness. Each question's worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. You have about 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard in front of you. Once we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote on the whiteboard to your camera. At the same time, you verbalize your answer into the microphone. I like Again, to think that format, Winston did that without discussing it with Roxy beforehand, and he just caught her completely off guard. Has three usages of the Because that's that would be how I would do it. Of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question, what's happening? Why are you getting on your knee? To get that answer from the back of your head. Like, Y'all aren't even dating. Yeah. You also each, as a team, have one challenge to be issued through your manager throughout the three-round match. Adam Lavin. How you Hi. Feeling? I feel great. How are you? You look good. I miss you. Thanks. I miss you too, Jim buddy. <laughs> quick like a cat. Good reflexes. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Feeling good. It's good to be back in the schmodown. Good to have you back, sir. Liz Shannon Miller, I always appreciate your Star Wars love and your hats. How you feeling? Great. Looking forward to this. All right. And last but not least, Jared Haven, where is Tom Brady going next year? <laughs> Let's just play the game, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to... The answer would be Tampa. I think he's coming back. I don't know. We'll I don't know what the significance of that is, but... Your Why first Tampa? question is in the world of action adventure movies. Kim and Gronk both went and there. And the query is Who's for Gronk? What action film stars Charlize Theron, Sophia Boutella, and James McAvoy? And we're off. We are. Oh. oh. I'm just going to blow my, my lungs out with that intro. I, I really hit that road, too. This is the road, too. Five, four, three. I'm really blinking right two, now on this one. One. <sighs> Pants down, starting with you, Mr. Lobber. Atomic Blonde. He yeah. got it. Does Jim have it? Atomic Blonde. Yes, he does. Excellent. Over Liz Shannon Miller. I did not have it. Does oh. not. Does Jared. Thank God for Jim. <laughs> hey. You know, I saw it in my head, said, uh, but I was not up. pulling right. one, one that I should be writing that title down. Uh, yeah, I don't have a Jim on this team. The other side of the table. I have a Chris. Wake up, uh, with the following question, question number two, in the category of directors, who directed the films The Lost Boys, Phone Booth, and the Phantom of the Opera. Did you know there's a sequel? Oh yeah, and there's a sequel to Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. You should get this. Shut up. Never dies. Wow. It's it's, uh, it's uh, basically Five, four, fan fiction three, set to music. I'm two, hard blanking one. on his name. Down, I know it is. You first, Mr. Vavita, what do you got? Joel Schumacher. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, that's we were just talking about Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, that's the name I was trying to pull. Dude, when you're getting over not feeling good, it it really affects you. Yeah. Joel Schumacher. Yeah, that's the name Everybody's I was trying to pull. On the board, Jim and Adam remain perfect through two questions. Uh, next question wow. in the world of dramas. All right. Who played psychologist Sean McGuire in the film Good Will Hunting? Yep. This is what he is. Uh, is uh, How do you like that, man? Nice. <laughs> Easy one to pull. That uh, took place in uh, Boston. That way I can uh, get on track here. This is how uh, Bostonians uh, talk. Uh, it's like I'm back in New England. <laughs> Mad Damon. Hands down, go you first, Liz Shannon Miller. Uh, Robin Williams. She got Correct. it, it's Jared. Yes. Adam. Robin Williams. And Jim. Robin Williams. Right. Robin Williams. Went to go see about a girl. Right. Robin Williams. Question and son four, of a gun stole his line. How about them apples? Sci fi. In what? 1980s fantasy adventure will you find Arnold Schwarzenegger strapped to something called the Wheel of Pain? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this also takes place in Boston. I think I think you're right, I think it does, yeah. The Outside Wheel of, of uh, Saugus? Saugus, yep. <laughs> My family's from Watertown. I can, I can Watertown. We're from Watertown. Massachusetts? Watertown, Mass. My Five, family's from Watertown, four, Connecticut. Three. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Not, well, I'm not lying. Not happy with me. One. <laughs> Pens down, Jerry. I know what it is. Is uh, not, not total, total recall. No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Adam Haven. The Running Man. Not the Running Swing Man. Oh. Jim. I also screwed up. Running uh, Man. I can endless uh, Shannon Miller. I'm. This is a 50-50 shot. Conan the Barbarian. That is she correct. Ah, oh, I thought the Running Man also. Liz Shannon Miller. <laughs> and with that, Coming 
No, what I was originally writing wasn't correct either, so I'm okay with that. Huh. We're, uh, we're really killing it right now, guys. Is the world of comedies. Thank you. At least you're not doing it anymore. It's, it's now just the audience. I'm not doing comedy anymore? <laughs> no. It's at Mark Ellis Live. Well, um, your I mean, technically. Not, what 1990s comedy has the line, that rug really tied the room together? <laughs> an inside joke for our studio audience. Man, it sure is. Yeah. Ooh, spelling. How? But really a rug how was it? How spelling? Are you writing the right movie title? Yeah. Pens down. Going to Adam. Lebowski. It is the Lebowski. Oh, okay. Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Good guess. Liz Shannon Miller. The Big Lebowski. All right. I tried putting me in the I went L I and I squeezed an E in there, but Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right, Jim. We got this. All right. Let's see. The uh, big Lebowski. Get back <laughs> I guess. This next question. Just doing the big Lebowitz. Lebowitz. Slash thriller. What horror franchise is known for the line, do you want to play a game? Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, you, you made that a little menacing at the end. Well, it is that a little menacing. God, you better have this one, too. You started out nice do you know how long it took me to write this answer? <laughs> Probably faster. I, I put emphasis on mine. You did yours real quick. I wrote up. Fence down. Uh, we are going to you, Mr. Vavis. What do you got? Uh, I'm dying again. Saw? Yes, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't that. Not Hellraiser. Saw. 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 Yes. Saw. Jared has also it. Also correct. Saw. Adam's got it too. All right. Want to play a game? He saw. Yeah. He saw. He conquered. All right. So it remains a three-point game in the favor of Rogue Two. Uh, we move on to your penultimate question, round number one. That is from the world of We're playing catch up here. All right. Yeah. And your question. Who plays a convict who is the brother of boxer Casey Affleck in the crime drama Out of the Furnace? Did I just say boxer Casey Affleck? <laughs> did you say? Yeah, you did. Is he a brawler? It's brother of boxer Casey. Well, I think in the, in the film he's a, he's a boxer. He'd be a flyweight. Five, <laughs> yeah. four, three, two, one. Uh, Stab in the dark. Liz Shannon Miller, go to you first. I don't think I have it. Christian Bale. That is correct. Nope. Dang it. I was wrong. Yes. Got Christian Bale. Does Adam? Christian Bale. Yes, he does. Do you know why I'm upset right now? Because you were going to put Christian Bale? Because I was literally about to start writing that. I put Scott Kahn. I know they were brothers like in other things, but... Uh, Kahn is six uh, What is the name of the teenager who takes on the mantle of Spider-Man, voiced by Shameik Moore in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say this. I like all four competitors oh. as human beings. Come on! Bobic, by far the best penmanship on that table. It's true. It's I, like block letters. Yeah. It's yeah. Unreal. If I if I needed to. All right. Stop the camera. Let's we'll do this over again. This, this is stupid. Two. I'll do the JT rule. Uh, JT rule for Jared Haven. All right. What is the name of the teenager who takes on the mantle of Spider-Man, voiced by Shamik Moore in Spider-Man: Into the Spider-Verse? Forget it. Yeah, Adam Lavick should like, have his own font. Oh, Lavick the font? <laughs> yeah, it should you get to see the real reaction of me right now, which is very pissed off. Five, Using all my thumbnails. Because I know that. But my my brain is just mush right now. <laughs> uh, pens down. Uh, Jared Haven, could you conjure it? I couldn't get Miles Teller out of my head. I got Miles. Miles Morales. <laughs> Good lord. That's, it's not Miles That's the first Teller. name. Does Adam have both names? <laughs> Miles Morales. Look at that yeah. right. um, Jim Bavita, did he have it? Miles Morales. Yeah. And Liz Shannon Miller. Miles Morales. She's oh, got it too. Right. Miles Morales. All right, we got it. We got, right. we got Ron too. So we're looking at a 14 to 10 lead for Rogue. Two. I mean, it still really could be anybody's game because you know that's still pretty close for both round, of them. You up the luck factor. In, in in round one, yes, there is certainly a, a certain level of luck in terms of getting questions that you know the answer to. Sure. But, you know, the wheel, this this is really where things can turn around. So at this point, it's still really anyway. And that's the thing about the wheel round is that working on this that is the fun that you get to have when you guys do reactions. And you're honest with it. And you don't actually stop the camera and start over when you're not getting questions right. When your brain is mush, guess what? It's mush on camera. This is a team format. And so each team gets to spin of the wheel once they settle on a category. You'll get it next time. Questions. 
from that world. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. Uh, Rogue two. Before you spin the wheel, I'm going to remind everybody that the actual wheel, the entire wheel, is sponsored by Jake Burnham, a great schmo down. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Burnham. For all that you do, if you guys want to hear your name mentioned Matt and Ben. Match, check out so they actually do have Matt Damon and Ben Affleck movies so on there. Jake wanted his uh, sponsored slices. The movies that both of them feature in. And Matt and Ben. That's that's the interesting thing about that slice. Is it movies that both of them are in together, or like they both have a hand in making, or it could it just be strictly a Ben Affleck movie that Matt Damon wasn't in at all? Had no part of. I mean, how many Matt and Ben movies that they're both in are are there? A lot of them. Goodwill Hunting. A lot of them view as view ask you movies. Yeah. This, uh, this wheel. I know if it's a, it's a. Um, what? If one of the pegs, if one. Did a peg fall off? Oh, I see. Yeah, where the, uh, it, yeah. it's where the, um, thing's supposed to be. Yeah, as long as it's not affecting the spin, I think we're okay. I, think it, I don't know. Would you like it? I'll, I'll. No, I, it's, it looks like I think it's fine, but it's up to you. Guys. Slow down. You know, since they put my ugly mug on comedies, <laughs> biopics. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like it was written to happen that way. Yeah, it wasn't, but it was like it was. <coughs> they uh, they rigged the non-digital wheel <laughs> for that peg to fall out. <laughs> Apparently, I mean, pegs fall out all the time. The world's an imperfect place. There's a documentary that Eric Rodriguez did. Or is it Screws? It's literally the right, exact Kevin. opposite of perfect right now. Um, you spun biopics. You decided to keep it. The movie's about real people. And you're going to hear six questions. You may confer with each other for each and every question. Reminder that you can check the multiple choice if you're not sure of the answer. Emma's going to be asking you the questions. Emma, at your ready. All right. Question number one in the category of biopics. Who played Joan Jett in oh, the 2010 uh, biographical Kristen drama, Stewart. Yes. The Runaways? Like Twilight. Kristen, Kristen Stewart, Stewart and Dakota correct. Fanning. Points. Yep. All right. Jim emphatically as soon as he heard the question. question Look, I'm over here answering questions that aren't even being asked. Who played Abraham Lincoln's son, Robert Todd? Joseph Lincoln, Gordon-Levitt. In 2012's Lincoln. How many more times can I say Lincoln a in that of, sentence? A lot of pennies. Joseph Gordon Levitt. That is correct for two points. Couldn't get Miles Morales, though. And the Wicked still has four questions. But you can get three names. Question number three. Sorry. <laughs> Jared, he just feels he needs to participate yeah. in the in this round in some, by some stretch of the imagination. I'm not in my head. Right. Question number three. Kevin Klein portrayed what classic film star in the 2013 film The Last of Robin Hood? Errol Flynn. <laughs> Errol Flynn. That is correct for two wow. points. Well, I mean, classic in Robin Hood. Taking the lead over Rogue Two. <laughs> Jim Bevita, listen, ve listening very carefully for context clues on that one. Yeah, so was uh, I. Question number four. <laughs> That's all that was. Hidden figures. Which famous astronaut do the three main The one that Tom Hanks was playing. Jim Lovell. Lovell. I can't pronounce his name. I think. <laughs> <laughs> or is it Armstrong? Neil Armstrong. Uh, multiple, Five. Uh, multiple choice. Four. All right. Is it A, Buzz Aldrin, oh. B, John Glenn, Neil Armstrong, C, Alan Shepard, or D, Neil Armstrong? Context clues would be famous astronaut, which... Jim Lovell was. I say but. John Glenn. That is correct for one oh. point. Right. Well, I would say all of them were famous astronauts. Yeah, all of them were famous astronauts. Three and that's true. Because uh, I knew of all of them. There's a certain level of fame, though, that bio. sticks in Listen, my mind. Jim wanted to keep biopics. I think he yeah. made a good decision. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Your penultimate question. Who played Jane Hawking, wife to oh. Stephen Hawking, in the 2014 What's her name from Rogue One? The yes. Felicity everything. Jones. <laughs> I was about to say Shagwell. No. <laughs> that would be Austin Powers. <laughs> Felicity Jones, yes. <laughs> yeah, multiple multiple choice. Choice. Okay. 
Is it A, Alicia Vikander? Nope. B, Felicity Jones? Yep. C, Emily Blunt? Nope. Or D, Sienna Miller? Nope. It's Felicity Jones. That is correct for one point. All right, so we got involved with the first a couple times, yep. but... Uh, Who was no supposed to play Felicia Hardy in two. The Amazing yes, Spider-Man movies, I believe. All right. Uh, she actually does play Felicia, but they don't outright say Felicia Infamous Hardy. was the Truman Capote biopic that co-starred Sandra Bullock, who played Capote? Infamous? Uh, I don't Toby know. Jones? That's yeah, correct. I would say Ar Arnim Zola. Wow. Oh, Toby, yeah. Toby Jones. Solid. That makes sense, yeah. Really, really well played round and some good strategizing going on there. Waiting to see if anyone would get confused as to being Philip Seymour Hoffman yeah. and Capote. Yeah. No shame in going for the choice, especially because your opponents yeah. can steal. Right, I mean, you have, you have two... That was a good round. Good movie trivia points a good job with that. So if you leverage a guess, it's smart to at least reduce the point value so that they only can steal a point, but never was the case with the Wicked, who now have a six-point lead. Uh, and now it's Rogue Two's turn to spin. And here comes Liz Shannon Miller to do the honors. We'll see how opponent's choice is feeling. It's a big money. Yeah, and no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. The wheel's been through a lot in its young life. Unless you're that one guy who actually studied the board and knows where it's gonna land on the whammies. Cheater. Not really a cheater, just a smart player. Much like counting cards in Vegas. It's not really cheating if you're just smart playing. Still didn't like it, though. That's, uh, that's going to be Adam right there. That's a big heck yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to keep it. <laughs> In the world of DC films, you're going to have six questions, each one worth two points. Again, you're not sure the answer, check the multiple choice. <clears throat> Size question goes down to one. First of six, what kind of vehicle did the Joker escape in? School bus. School bus. The beginning of the dark night. Not the cop car. School bus. Was this was school later bus. in the movie. Two points. Yeah. All right, your next question. Green Lan A Green Lantern's ring and power batteries are fueled by what? The actual lantern? Well, the... R yeah. Willpower. <laughs> Is that real? Wow. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wait, they made a Green Lantern movie? You just gotta want it, Emma. Just, you just gotta just, want it. Yep. If you want it enough, you, you Why do I not know you this? Too, your ring will become magical. Because you you're too busy making dumb things. jokes. All right, well, uh, they're trying to do an incredible thing, which is come back on the Wicked, who had a six-point lead at hmm. the beginning of the spin for Rogue Two, and they sense of answer two questions correctly. Four hmm. remain. Chris is grumpy Next right now. We yeah, got it. The character of John Constantine. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Constantine. Whoa. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> it's breathtaking. I think we should start a new uh, or something like that. that there has to be at least one Keanu You're breathtaking. Question. You're breathtaking. I know you're feeling bad and grumpy, but I just want to let you know you're breathtaking. Thanks, I guess. I support that. Feel better? Nope, still didn't remember Miles Morales. Your next question. What is the penguin's real name? Oswald Cobblepot. Oswald Cobblepot. I just want to meet my parents. Ugly Mick, weird design choice. Yeah. Not a big fan of that. I do like Danny DeVito as Penguin, but just... Eh, know, Tim Burton. For that time, Danny DeVito was a good choice, but now I wouldn't cast him at all ever for it. Ooh. Uh, Wes Craven. Can we get multiple choice, please? I certainly can provide that. Is yep. it A, George A. Romero? No. B, Wes Craven? Sure. C, John Carpenter? Probably not. Or D, Jim Wynorski? Don't know that name. Off the top of my head, anyway. We're going to swing for Romero. Uh, that is a strike. Ah. I can give you the, uh, the options again, gentlemen, before you wager a guess. Is it A, George A. Romero? B. Wes Craven, C. John Carpenter, or D. Jim Wynorski? Wes Craven? Correct for one point. That's a point. And I just, did I curse you? Was that the announcer's curse? I said no. It took me a happened. second, uh, like, I don't know. Oh, Wes Craven. And I was like, wait a minute. I was starting right, to second so guess myself there, but I was like, uh, go with the gut. Wes Craven. However, Seems about right. One question remains in round number two. It's worth two points. This could go either way. 
You ask questions in the world of DC movies? What comedian co-starred alongside Christopher uh, Richard, Richard Pryor? Pryor. Superman 3. Oh. Richard Pryor. The great Richard Pryor it was. And wrote to Richard now Pryor. Round number three with a three-point lead. Emma like Bunch. Brewster's we Millions. He was fantastic in that. That was a good movie. You know, again, obviously, I like his mustache. In a very nice it was a good mustache. It uh, makes me jealous about my inability to grow proper facial hair. <laughs> again, no However, clue what this is on my face. Tie it up with their three-pointer and there. lead easily with their five-pointer, so they're not in a terrible. This is glued on. Forcing the wicked to burn two questions before you even yep. have to take one. So. Again, not in TKO range necessarily, Certainly but not. it's a nice cushion to have. It definitely is. Yeah, I mean, the, the Rogue Two's got to be pretty good. It's just not the one from good, Jackass. I don't think that the Wicked should be disparaging all that much. Because as I say, they have the opportunity to take this back. And they I got one in my mouth. That's right. And the team, at least the manager and Jared Chip for There's a thumbnail. Big time comeback. So 24 to 21 is the score. Oh, does Jim too? Oh, good. They made those faces when they were thinking about the Patriots and Tom Brady. Congratulations on all your championships. Who know? Road two, you find yourself in a three-point lead. Um, both See, we're not big sports guys here, but for some reason I feel like I should be talking a bunch of crap about the Patriots. The Schmodown team? No, the actual football team. There's a football team called Patriots? That's what the Schmodown team was named after. Oh. thought they were just, it was because they're from Boston and a lot of, like, U.S. history comes from there. I would have called them Tea Party then. It's, uh, for as dominant as that team was, they could get away with it. Uh, two, seven, and fifteen. All right, put you on the spot there. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Uh, the wicked. <laughs> wicked. <laughs> You're three numbers. Oh. Are we saying our numbers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Say whatever you want. Five, fourteen, and twelve. Oh. That, that 12 at the end. That was not a wise choice. That 12 at the end is gonna is just gonna ruin it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, the Wicked have selected their numbers. Obviously, the number 12 and owed to Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly. And with the Wicked, uh, your first question is gonna be for two points. Now, you selected um, number five, and that corresponds to the world of romantic comedies. So You've got mail. Who feels like fielding that one for two points? Come on, Jared. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> How to lose a game in ten points. Here we go. Jared, your two points. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to make that joke. The realm of romantic comedies. It works. Who plays <laughs> Tiffany Maxwell in Silver Linings Playbook? Jennifer Lawrence. Playbook? Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. That is correct for two points. <laughs> All right. J Law. He got that one. It almost seemed too like easy. You, like you mentioned before, the wicked going to have to answer another question. If it here, seems so easy, their, remember, it's your two point. Number was so it's probably the right answer. Heisman, and that corresponds to the category of musicals. Musicals. Which is going to be asked to Jim Veda. And Jim Veda alone is musical knowledge. Still that number 12, though. That's going to be the rough Jim, one. Jim, in the category of musicals, for three points, in no. Mamma Mia, here we go again. What MCU actor plays Garden. Sophie's husband, Sky? Oh, yeah. Stellan Skarsgård? That is incorrect. Oh, oh. We're looking for Dominic. Oh, 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 Sophie. Uh, that was the, the younger generation. The in Mamma Mia. Amanda Seyfried's <laughs> character. Her husband is Dominic He's Cooper. definitely in it. He plays the character oh. of Sky. <laughs> A.K.A. Young, young Howard Stark. Dominic Cooper. I have no idea. Twelve. Was twelve. 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 Here it comes. Five, four, that twelve. All right. So now. Well, that fourteen really that would, uh, kind of shook a little bit. Five-point question is going to be asked to the wicked. If they get it right, they're going to force the hand of Rogue Two to answer multiple questions. You got it. However, if the wicked miss this, then Rogue Two will win by technical <laughs> knockout. So you selected number twelve. Hmm. That corresponds, Emma, to the category of. Dramas. All right. Sure. <laughs> For five points in the category of dramas, and you can confer on this, 
What was the name given to the man that held Joy oh, and shoot. captive in room? Was it like, was it Tom or something the like that? Crowd has Apparently he was a real like D-bag. I would go with D-bag. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to describe him. A lot of hushed exclamations. Five, I, would, I would probably use the, the term evil, but... Uh, what was the name given to the man was an that evil held D-bag. Joy and Jack captive yeah. in room? One JTE rule remaining. Told you that, number 12. Yes. I can't remember if they actually gave him a, a real name. I'm going to go to five, four, yeah. three, two. Repeat the question. Last right, one. Final one. What was the name given to the man that held Joy His and Jack His name was like something simple like Tom or John or something like that. That's a good movie. That's a really good movie. Two. We're gonna go with the bad man. Bad you're That's a bummer. Old Nick. Yeah. Nick? I was closer with Steve. Nick. Old Just Nick. Nick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not to be confused with Old Saint Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. Uh, Very different. Uh, Very different. Yeah, I didn't remember that one. I do remember that movie being good, though. Highly recommend to watch. Is that Brie Larson? Yeah. yeah Jacob Tremblay? That, yep. Thing, is that, is luck is part of the game, and sometimes and old Nick. that you're not necessarily and as old Nick. confident in come up. And look. Drama is a broad category. Yes, it is. So, you know, we could have just as easily asked them a drama question that Would they knew. Did that movie have to, drama in it? That's just the way the chips fell today. And they fell in favor of Rogue Two. They're fine. Like we said at the top of the show, now that team Her and her so son were held captive in a nice room for, for years. Swag squad. Absolutely. And I mean, again, yeah. Winston, a little drama. They could have had a birthday nice party in there. Just a little drama. Held captive. Well, Keywords. This is, held this captive. This is really going to continue to boost him up here, especially. Yeah. I've been happy being held captive before. On your team, as strong as Liz Chandler, You're a freak. Who proved today that she's just as good in teams as she is in singles, and I really think the, yeah, that's uh, enough of that. She and Adam are, are going to go far. We look at that complement of knowledge because yeah. they're really doing very well in round one, and then Adam coming to play was fun DC, and he knows that world very well. So a nice complementary. <laughs> pieces for Rogue Two. Uh, Jen, you're with Adam, and you're with Liz Shannon, and you're with Winston Marshall. Who feels like talking first? How I wash my brain! Oh my god. <laughs> You have to feel worried about <laughs> She this. heard you. So the fact that you were able to oh. put these two together and just see the potential there, you have to feel pretty good about it. I mean, that's the funny thing. I heard Roxy was talking mad trash in the promo. I didn't see You do smell there. cleaner. I just heard she said I was inexperienced. I didn't know what I was doing. I was about to dump Here's the water the all over my I'll head. I washed the smoke down, all right? I knew who I was drafting, all right? Okay? A brother does his research, all right? So I knew if I put these two together, it'd be colossal to see the two of them come in here and wreck shop. And that's what happened. Amen. I feel like I just went to church. <laughs> Liz, you guys look like you had, were having such a good time. Like, you looked calm and collected out there. It felt like a new Liz Shannon Miller. I may be wrong. I mean, I, I felt like it was really great having a teammate. Like, I didn't know what kind of difference that would make, but it's, it was just comforting to know I'd have, at the very least, someone in my corner also being part of a faction this time made a difference. And in general, just knowing the game better and, you know, having fun playing it. He's kind of like an emotional support dog that's really good at inner geekdom categories, right? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sure. I want to be clear. Uh, our guests on Romero for that's that was on me. Like, I don't want. I don't want. An emotional want to support dog is good at inner geekdom. No, that's a super hard question. Who the hell? I don't know how many people in this room actually knew the answer. There were probably a few, but. I've never even seen the movie. There's one person raising his hand, and he can go just stand yeah. in the corner. Oh, hold on. You can just go stand in the corner. Well, hold on, there were two. One of them was our faction mate. He knew it. It's fine. No, don't no, worry about it. But, but I will say this, honest to God, uh, I, I I appreciate seeing the two of y'all together because you did bring a calming presence to each other. I think Starting to notice a joke that we're doing on this constantly. This faction far is the fact that we really we're not a bunch of show like the Finstock exchange by the way putting whoa, your nose whoa, in the corner sucks show. even as an no, adult no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna say that would be because we haven't cleaned in a while and, and there's a bunch of dust and cobwebs I'm talking about how Bobby brings all 25,000 something's crawling up in there the now exchange every time they come out that's all I'm saying we're, we're we're here supporting each other we're not arguing over communication we're right here together and we're, we're riding this out 
Oh, I was just going to say, but well, what about the proposal if you're not all show? <laughs> oh, oh, that was just out of pure love. That's what that was. It seemed appropriate. I, we, we had a love superstar in the house, so I just had to confess my love to Roxy. And I love that she eventually accepted that out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. I did, yeah. I mean, I've been so used to inner geekdom, it was nice to break out of that. Careful, Winston, we're gonna start calling you a heel. I was a little nervous about going into categories that I maybe didn't feel as confident in, but for whatever reason, you know, I just the questions I was lucky enough to get questions that I just knew the majority of the answers really quickly off the top of my head, so. And I will say, when you spun DC, uh, someone on the other side of the table was not happy about it. So uh, I'll talk to him in a few minutes. But congratulations, guys. Uh, that would be I'm Jared. excited to see what you two are going to do this season. And congratulations, Winston. I feel like this is working out very well for Swag. You know, it's early in the season, so I'm not going to act like the Cowboys and think we're great and then pull a hamstring. We're going <laughs> to we're going to study. We're going to keep in contact with each other, and we're going to keep riding high until we take the top. We take the, the ring. We take the belt. Let's go. Cowboys are known for pulling hamstrings. And that's a Cowboys fan saying that. Um, <laughs> you, you see a real happy I mean, it was right a catch. There. I mean, yeah. it, it just reveling in the fact that they maybe found something new and something very special. I, I was just I, saying I totally a thing. Agree. I don't know and if it's it really actually... Was, it doesn't really work for pulling out, anything, but... Nice to see Liz Shannon Miller up there so relaxed and feeling so supported, which isn't to say that she hasn't had an impressive performance in the Schmodown. She has, but where competitors really begin to thrive even outside of the team's league i think is once they get matched up with that perfect teammate we've seen it happen time and time again here in the showdown you look at the likes of the partnership between a sam levine and a drew mcweeney or dare i say a rachel Cushing and a Shire Wolf. That's, that's, Shout that's, out to myself. You're talking about lightning in a bottle <laughs> yeah, right exactly. there. But you're right, the, the, the pairing of teammates back and forth. But I'll also say this for the Wicked. I think that, that Jared and Jim make for a nice pair. Maybe they, they didn't have the luck with the wheel or some of the questions that Rogue 2 got. But I think the Wicked, certainly a force to be reckoned with going forward, we think right now, Jen. How are they feeling about it? I think they're feeling pretty optimistic. I mean, Roxy, you have to feel pretty good about the performance that these two put together because this is their first time playing together as a team. And it's honestly, Jared, I think it's your first time in something other than Inner Geek, am I wrong? That it is, and I was hoping for DC, but Adam spun it, that jerk. <laughs> oh, I saw you just absolutely oh. seething. I was like, look how strong his jawline's getting. Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I am I'm really impressed by you guys and it was their first time playing together it won't be their last time playing together because I think this is a great team and you know that five point question fair as, as ever but really hard I yeah. can't blame you guys for not knowing that that's a really hard question and I think you guys did everything you could you communicated it requires seeing room in which one of you guys shouted something probably out. more than once I, I'm, I'm really impressed by you guys so uh, for a first match. Because I've seen it once and can remember his name. And then sticking with bio kicks. I mean, <laughs> that takes some stones. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> this guy's got stones. I know. Like Boston stones right here. No, uh, I thought I his name was say, Tommy. Uh, I'm more pissed at myself for missing the Arnold Schwarzenegger question. For the room? The minute I put that was Nolte from Warrior. I knew I Tommy! Uh, the, the room question. No, I mean, I, I honest to God didn't know that, I, but, yeah. I haven't even seen the, about the guy, Old sure Nick. Seen His name is Old Nick. Mia. No, the guy that was like, oh, hi, Tommy. I find that shocking, that's the room. Who yeah, that's what he said, the room. The room. All right, maybe yeah, I've seen it once. from the room, <laughs> not room. And I stand by saying Stellan Skarsgård because he's in the MCU. That was great He's answer. been in two Mamma Mia movies, so, yeah. all right, I was thinking the exact same thing. But absolutely not a performance to shake your heads about. And like I said, I'm very impressed with how you guys handle this, especially you, considering it's a much broader... With inner geekdom, I feel like you can study. If you get as specific as we're getting now, you can study and you can really hone that craft. But when it's no holds barred, yeah. every everything counts in trivia, that's, uh, that's saying something. Can I, can yeah. I uh, just toot my own horn here for a second? Go yeah. for it. We've already talked about played, other things. I haven't played uh, in a schmodown for like a year and a half. And so I've been a little rusty, but now my blood's up, and I can't wait to get back in there and kick some ass. I'm really back. It's back. It's back. And justice for biopics. I never want to hear that Roka crap again. That's what, you know. Honestly, 
That's the major victory of today. You took back biopics, and nobody can throw it in your face anymore. Uh, and and yeah, basically spinning DC for them was Except them Roca. spinning Spinner's choice. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited to see what you guys are able to do in the future. Congratulations to Winston. He did a great job managing this match. Uh, and next time, it won't go his way. Woo. Back to you guys. Uh, taking it on the chin there, but what? still optimistic for the future, as, as they should be. As they should be. As long as Jared does know the difference between the movie The Room and Room, <laughs> um, which is unclear. But what is clear. We're not asking the room questions on the movie <laughs> trivia show. But what is clear is that Jared Haybun Wait, there's has a difference? A nice, broad movie Let's play it to your camera. He's not just a one trick pony, he's not just an inner geekdom player. And, and, and Jim Pepita. Like you said, he's been out of the game for about a year. Fed and up with this world. Now that he's gotten a taste of it, they're going to come back really strong this year. I mean, you pull a category like musicals for your third <laughs> point question. You're tearing if, me if apart. If you don't know it, and tearing you don't know apart. musicals, that feels like a five-pointer. So mm -hmm. I think in their heads, cheap, it felt cheap, like two five-pointers coming cheap, at him. Cheap. And that's a tough thing to deal <laughs> with. Rogue 2 uh, did not have to answer a question in round number three. That's why they get the technical knockout. And I think a well-played match here, Emma. Rogue 2, somebody to be looking out for going forward in the team league. Definitely, yeah. Really good performances from both teams today. Again, Rogue 2, uh, I think, is going to make big waves in this league that's something they've already proven but i think the wicked still have a lot left to prove and that they're going to do it i think they're going to do it as well great performances by the teams by our amazing crew and by the incredible miss emma fife here today Thank you so much i merely had words warble out in, in a somewhat <laughs> conscious stream that is emma five i am mark else on behalf of everybody here at the movie trivia schmodown we implore you to go check out the schmodownlive.com for all upcoming tickets and news on the live events plus there's a lot of great stats there you can see who's leading the singles the teams intergeekdom all that good stuff it's right there at the schmodownlive.com for christian harloff and our entire family here i'm mark ellis saying we'll see you soon on the movie trivia schmodown ha new adam lavick and liz shannon miller we're gonna win that had no doubt in my mind. Okay. That's why I picked him. Sure. That was a match. Um, it was... It, it could get close there. I I do like seeing uh, Jim back in it with uh, Jared. Mm -hmm. Just because I like what they were saying there at the end. It's their new team. It's, <coughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that were working against them there. They're a new team working together for the first time. Uh, Jared, first time in something other than inner geekdom. Jim, first time back in about a year and a half. So there was a lot of there's a lot of oh, stretching and getting warmed back up and everything to do there. And mm -hmm. they they fared pretty well for a team that needed to do that stretching. Yeah. Unlike my mush brain, that did not fare well at all during this entire video. Miles Morales. Yeah. Um Otherwise, yeah, really good match. I think I would like to see specifically these two teams maybe play again now that they've played each other just because I think overall I would say these teams are pretty well evenly matched. Yeah, I mean, now that Jim Veveda is going to like get back into the schmodown and he'll get back used to playing the game, he may turn around and become a dominant force, yeah. but... I think specifically with these two teams, they were pretty evenly matched. I think that was part of the issue why I was saying it's going to be really hard to call this one because overall, I still think they were really close. Yeah, I mean, Lish and Miller and Jim were actually pretty close in their wide range of knowledge. And then you had both Adam and Jared who were from the inner geekdom. So you saw that DC movies was up there on the wheel Adam spun it. That's exactly why you want that inner geekdom uh, player on your team. Mm -hmm. Because Adam also knows some other things. But you spin DC, it's got it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, and it's the same that you see with uh, Jim and Jared. If Jared spun it, he was going to run, he was going to wreck shop, run the wheel, whatever the phrase is that you want to use in this case, uh, on, that, on that same slice. So... I think I think having them paired up like that is actually going to be a pretty solid mixture going forward. Yeah, um, eager to see both of these teams continue on in the future, in in some kind of a future, whatever the future may look like at this point. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but hopefully it's good for both of them. Yes. Anyways, that's going to wrap up our thoughts on this. Still feel like butt. Yeah, look like it too. But uh, 
A lot of hair. That's what I'm trying to say. You're hairy. Wrap up the video. Oh, okay. So if you like the Schmodown, make sure you go over to the Schmodown Entertainment Network. Like, comment, subscribe to their channel. Help them out any way you can. Make sure you go to SEN Live. Watch the SEN Live show. Uh, pitch in on the Super Chats and the Streamlabs because that also helps them out. And also hop on their Patreon. They do have a Patreon for both Schmodown and for SCN Live. So hop on both their Patreons. Choose the tier that's right for you on there. Do all the stuff. Woo, they've them. got a lot of things they're doing over there. Yep, subscribe, like, comment over there, and then do all the money things. And then after you're done doing all that, go to the schmodownlive.com because that website still exists. Check out the stuff they have on there and be on the lookout for live events when those eventually come back. May or may not be this year, but we'll see. Yeah, here's hoping. As for us, got a lot of stuff going on on this channel. Oh, yeah, here comes our laundry list. Uh, including a brand new thing. Oh. If you go to www.patreon.com slash cinefanatics, you can join our Patreon. We got one of those now. We got one. We're YouTubers. Yeah, and uh, eventually we'll be uh, highlighting people who jump on there and are supporting us in these videos. So you want to get on that on that train right now. Be one of our first supporters over there on Patreon.com. Because we are taking note as to who our first supporters are. So And those that will mean something in the future as well as you'll get to hear your name read out on some of these videos in the future as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have patron names in the description for this first one out too. So we got to yes. make sure to drop them in there as well. Yep. And see, we're, we're real time working stuff out right here. But yeah, choose the tier that's right for you. We got three tiers up there right now on the Patreon. Uh, apparently, you can also change the amount you want to give and give custom amounts too if you want. So that's that's also available. That's awesome if you want to do that. But yeah, three tiers right now, dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, otherwise known as our Neo, the Dude, and Avengers tier. Kind of date in this video because you'll always come back to this video and see our three tiers that we're talking about. Interesting. Growth. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. We got three tiers. You'll know in the future. Sure. Uh, so yeah, choose the tier that's right for you on there. You can also follow us. We are at Cinefanatics MLP on Twitter and Instagram. Come follow us also on our Facebook group that hopefully we'll be a lot more hands-on with. I know social media is kind of rough right now, but uh, come join our Facebook group. We are at facebook.com slash group slash Cinefanatics. Also, what did you think of this reaction video? Let us know down in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a like. Come back and check us out Tuesday nights at 9.30 Central for the tagline. We talk movie news, schmo down, and I'll have a whole lot of fun with yo with all of y'all in the chat, with yo in the chat. With yo in the chat. With yo in the chat. There, Hashtag yo in the chat. There ain't any mo movie news, so we've had fun with yo in the chat. Exactly. So, again, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, Tuesday nights. Come join us for the tagline. You can find out when we're doing videos by subscribing to this channel you can hit subscribe down below or there's also a subscribe button up there above his head over here off the side a couple other videos that we have made and as always i'm done i'm just done i'm done i'm done i'm done drip drip y'all i'm done i banned you from doing later that. banned you from doing that so i can't say drip can i make everything moist oh, oh. <laughs>